And that for most people is anywhere from 50 to 70% of your total daily energy expenditure. Now people use the term metabolic rate and energy expenditure kind of interchangeably, but they're not the same thing. So your total daily energy expenditure is the summation of all the energy you expend in a day. Walking right? upstairs, Everything. exercise if you do it. Fidgeting. Yeah. Yeah. Plus your resting metabolic rate. Right. So resting metabolic rate is a big part of that, but it's not the only thing. So that's usually about 50 to 70%. And sedentary people will be on the higher end of that. So it'll be a bigger proportion. Whereas people who are more active, it'll be a little bit lower, not because their metabolic rate is lower, but because they're expending a greater percentage of their calories from physical activity. Then you have something called the thermic effect of food, which is a relatively small percentage of your total daily energy expenditure. It's about five to 10%. Uh, and very difficult to measure. And usually what researchers do when they're kind of looking at this stuff is they just kind of make an assumption about it. They use a constant. Uh, but that's about five to 10% of your daily energy expenditure. And that refers to the amount of energy it takes to extract the energy out of food. So think about your body kind of like a car, right? You don't just have gas in your tank and it spontaneously starts up, right? Like you have to have a battery, so you put in energy so you can get the energy out of the, the petrol that you have in your car. Similar with, with food, you can't just eat food and then, you know, it just appears in your cells and you start doing stuff. It has to be systematically broken down and put into forms that can actually produce energy. And so you have to put some energy in to achieve that. And a lot of times people will say something like, well, not all calories are created equal. 